For many people with chronic illnesses, finding just the right treatment can be taxing and not always successful. But trials are now underway in the field of bioelectronic medicine with new technology that's offering patients some hope. Tonight, we hear from a few of those patients who have had some success with this treatment and doctors who say that while it's still early, this could be part of the future of medicine. ABC's Will Carr has more. This is Kelly Owens today, hiking the Cocoa Head Trail, a steep Hawaiian Stairmaster. It's a mile and a half incline made from more than a thousand steps. But this was Kelly just four years ago in a wheelchair. When I was 13, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and manifestations of inflammatory arthritis. I tried 22 different biologics and immunosuppressants and none of them worked, which left me with progressively worse disease every year. Out of options, Kelly discovered bioelectronic medicine, learning about cutting edge technology that could help. So she threw a medical Hail Mary, signing up for a clinical trial in Europe in 2017. My husband and I sold everything that we owned and created a fundraiser and went abroad for six months. I was implanted with a vagus nerve stimulator on uh, June 22nd of 2017, and the device was turned on July 6th. Within a matter of days, I noticed how much my pain decreased, and within a matter of weeks, the inflammation around my joints uh, noticeably decreased as well. It wasn't just Kelly. Out of the study of 16 people, eight had meaningful clinical improvement, and four entered into remission. And within just a few years, the technology Kelly's been using has become less invasive. You put this around your neck once a week to charge it so there's no wires. You can't see it and you can't feel it. David Chernoff is the chief medical officer of Setpoint, which developed a vagus nerve stimulator. It's the size of a pill inserted into a patient's neck and delivers a small amount of electricity to the nerve. While the device is still in early trials, he says it's technology that could be used in the future to help patients like Kelly return to a sense of normalcy. There's about 1.5 million people in the U.S. who have rheumatoid arthritis, and they have to take very expensive medications for their entire life to treat this because there's no cure for it. Our approach is different. There are many examples of bioelectronic medicine which are very successful. For example, in the context of Parkinson's disease with movement disorders, tremors and shaking. Doug Bland was diagnosed with Parkinson's nine years ago. Some of the classic symptoms like smelling, loss of smell, things like that were, were the key to linking me to having Parkinson's. So Doug signed up for a Stanford Medical Center trial led by Dr. Peter Tass that asked patients to wear these bioelectronic gloves, which Tass says are designed to help reduce tremors. The goal is not to intervene in a harsh way, in an aggressive manner, but to do it in a very gentle, hopefully intelligent and sustainable and long lasting way. When the gloves turned on, you feel a wave of vibrations going back and forth between the fingers. Patients are initially wearing this for four hours a day, but over time that drops just a couple hours a week. The advantage here is that the anatomy is super well defined. So in other words, the electrical signals we are causing by means of our vibrations really reach the desired brain areas and only those specific brain areas. Doug was among eight patients enrolled in a pilot study, which found that stimulation from the gloves led to significant improvement in patients' motor performance. Doug says thanks to the gloves, his strength and level of activity has improved. I did a marathon race uh, within a couple of months after I started the glove therapy, and bystanders that knew me noticed that I was standing up straighter and I was running with a little bit more of a steady stride. Christine Williams battles allergies. I can't breathe, my eyes are watery, and it's just like, it's just a painful, I've got headaches, and it's just, you know, it's a, it's a tight feeling. So she started using ClearUp, a device cleared by the FDA to treat allergy symptoms by using electrical stimulation over the sinus area. I started noticing, I think, really the difference after like a few days. ClearUp is already on the market. For the vagus nerve stimulator and the gloves, there are still more clinical trials to be done to ensure the devices are safe and effective enough for broader use, putting FDA approval likely a few years away. And doctors have this advice for anyone interested in participating in trials for these types of devices. I think just managing your expectations. Um, you know, obviously everybody wants the best outcome possible. And um, just realize, you know, any type of uh, at least surgical interventions, there are risks involved. 
And even though it's still early, some doctors see real potential benefits. I see bioelectronics as the way of the future in medicine. You know, with the technological advances that are present, um, it gives us an unprecedented opportunity to actually investigate a lot of the biological systems that's harder to access. For Kelly Owen, she says the new technology has helped her climb a mountain. She feels from here on, the sky's the limit. I never would have imagined that my life could be as limitless as it is now. In the Bay Area, Will Carr, ABC News. Our thanks to Will Carr for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.